Hey, my name is Daniel. Uh, I work for Toradex, and we are today here in Vancouver, uh, BC, at the Linaro Connect. Uh, let me introduce here uh, to Tyler from Foundries.io and Stefan Agner, uh, also from Toradex. So hi, so who are you? Hey, uh, so my name is Stefan Agner. I work uh, in the software development team at Toradex. And we, uh, so Toradex does uh, computer or modules uh, like this one. And we, uh, so I'm actually from the team which does software for those uh, modules. And we are currently working on a new um, software offering, a new software platform, uh, which is based on uh, Linux micro platforms, which uh, Tyler from Foundries.io can tell you more about. So I'm Tyler Baker from Foundries.io. I'm the Chief Technology Officer. And uh, we're building micro platforms. So you might wonder what micro platforms are. Um, so specifically, the Linux micro platform is a minimal, secure, updatable uh, operating system based on open embedded in Yocto um, that we're providing as kind of a platform as a service uh, to people that are developing system on modules, to people that are makers that have uh, low cost development boards and, and companies that want to build secure IoT products. So. Um, maybe since you've worked with our product a little bit, you can tell everybody, uh, you know, what what things you found that would be nice about them, and, and maybe where they need to improve, and, and kind of maybe what your guys' vision is for for the micro platforms on uh, the Toradex hardware. Yeah, sure. So we we found it uh, really easy to port it because it's open embedded based. Toradex uses open embedded uh, BSP since quite a while, so that fitted in really well with our uh, with our uh, offering current offering. Um, the nice thing is, so with Linux micro platform, uh, containers are kind of the main focus, and um, what Foundries IO um, delivered us is a working kind of uh, container environment, and with also with the whole updating uh, uh, built in. So we basically managed to uh, port Linux micro platform to three of our modules within two weeks or so, so that was really rather easy to get it up and running. And we are now kind of uh, continuing to um, optimize um, what we have uh, from Linux micro platforms to, um, off, uh, to extend offering on more modules and also uh, to extend uh, uh, the usability from uh, point of view for development, uh, to develop containers and, and the whole stack. So for example, it runs on one of these? Yes, exactly. So this is actually the Colibri iMix 7. This is the first one we had up and running. So on that one, we can now already run Linux micro platform just fine. And so what are these micro platforms? What, what, how does it really help? Right. So uh, what we're seeing in the, in the industry as a whole is there's a need to provide a software platform that has the update frameworks built in and sort of security also baked into that equation. Because what we're finding with people developing products is that security and updates usually come at the end of product development and they're, they're kind of an afterthought. So whether those products actually ship with any sort of reasonable security is kind of on a company or company by company basis or product by product basis. So what we want to do is enable people building products to not have to think about that stuff and provide them with a reference. So uh, our over the air updates uh, software for uh, the Linux micro platform is based on OTA plus. It's a open source community edition uh, that implements Uptain and and uh, Uptain is a security mechanism for delivering secure firmware uh, over the air that can it basically is immutable, that has privacy, uh, and it allows verification from third parties. So uh, we think it's a good solution to allow our Linux micro platform customers to update their software over the air. What we also do is provide continuous updates. So uh, it's our belief that the latest software is the most secure software, and so we want to enable and make it easy for customers uh, to use the latest uh, software. So again, we use Open Embedded and Yocto, and we, we constantly rebase that. And again, uh, the Linux kernel as well, so we constantly move to the latest release version of Linux kernel uh, on our micro platform. So when you do uh, buy a subscription from us, you'll get the latest software uh, that you can literally click on a dashboard and update your devices in the field if you want to. And that's given as a reference. We also provide uh, every bit of software is open source. So you can reproduce the entire stack with Linux micro platform and any cloud parts that you may have uh, that we may provide as a reference, uh, you know, at your own um, office or your own lab or, or wherever you need to do it or you can even give it out to customers and, and have them deploy it. So everything's open, there's no vendor lock-in, um, and that's kind of what we're going with for with the Linux micro platform. So a micro platform sounds like a small little, uh, it's not a lot of data to transfer, yeah, or is it? And because like, IoT doesn't want to have so much data, right, sometimes? Well, I mean, I think that's what IoT is, it's all about the data. Uh, but like Stefan said, was 
you know, it's just a Docker runtime. So what we're trying to do is modularize the boundaries between um, the base operating system and the application. Typically, when you build embedded systems, you bundle that all together, and so it's hard to update, or there's there's dependencies that need to be shared between multiple applications, and there's no level of isolation. So the idea is update the base operating system independently of the containers, and even with the containers, they can be updated independently. So what this allows you to achieve is that if you can update just the piece of software that you need to, whether that's the base operating system or the applications running on the device, and do it in a seamless way. And I think, you know, from working with cloud tools uh, and, and you know, developing cloud applications, these the concepts aren't new, but they're very new to embedded. So we want to bring the concepts of enterprise that's happening in the data center down to the edge or even smaller devices. So that's kind of our goal is to is to standardize that in an embedded package and make it easy for, for customers to consume that, um, like Toradex and, and, and others, really. So, How's it been to work with Toradex? Oh, it's been great. Uh, I can't say enough about their engineering team. Um, they have very bright guys like we do. They understand open source software. They work upstream. So when we forged this relationship, I think everything kind of just fell into place. And uh, you know, we have a really good synergy. So what do you think right now? Uh, yeah, we are very happy to work with them, and we are really going to extend now on that. That's basically our base, and then we add additional value on top, so really focusing on the ease of use. So we have still a lot of people from the Microsoft ecosystem, so we will provide a container tooling uh, integration with Visual Studio and other Microsoft technology like .NET, so people can easily migrate from, from Windows or from Windows CE to this platform. Uh, we also have other uh, tools and speciality for exact our platform, uh, so downstream uh, uh, support or special tooling for GPIOs and so on. So really make the life easier uh, for, the, for the developers. And then also we have a big ecosystem and we really now begin to onboard them to that whole container concept. So we talk with our uh, partners like Qt, Codesys, and many others uh, to see how we can bring them on. And it should be even easier than it's already today uh, to integrate this partner technology into our, um, our models. Uh, so very exciting. Yeah. Uh, can you say something more about what's so special about uh, this Linux micro? Uh, my yeah, for, for us, for us, really, uh, one very interesting thing, additional, what Tyler already said, is really that it, it's for the ease of use. So co containers really allow a much easier over-the-air update. It allows easier to integrate uh, with other partner. It allows us easier to integrate development tools, which then can easily remove for deployment. Uh, so for us, it's all really get the time to market down make it safe and make it in a way you can actually uh, deploy it into volume product. So it's not just for development or anything like that. It's really it's good for development, but you can then take it with very little changes and deploy it uh, into a volume production. And uh, uh, all the stuff that uh, Linaro is doing maybe also in the light group, right? And, and getting all the latest updates that has to, not just to do with security, but I guess new functionalities. Exactly. Yeah, so and we it just gets quickly in, into there. Well, yeah, because uh, the Light Group works upstream on on the Zephyr project, and we we also at Foundries.io work upstream on the Zephyr project. So that's kind of our our goal is to keep involved in these these uh, projects like the Linux kernel, like Zephyr, like Open Embedded and Yocto, and really uh, you know keep a pulse on what's happening upstream and also contribute. So we have very short forks when we do things. So we may have to do some stabilization uh, for the micro platforms between release to release, but all those patches and all those issues are sorted up upstream um, so that the next release we do, we have to carry less patches. And so we're always constantly working our technical debt down. And so by working with the light team at Linaro on Zephyr and the Linux Foundation, um, you know, that's our goal is to keep the technical debt low and the delta from upstream software very, very minimal. And uh, could you say something about, because I guess many different people around the world, they, they want different things, but is it possible to do different things with that with this platform? Like, uh, can you cut, can people customize? Is it for customization? Yeah, I think it is, uh, that's uh, uh, exactly that is actually a really strong point with Linux micro platforms. So since it's, it's really based, it's kind of container native, um, you can really uh, easily uh, add containers. Uh, you can easily run different kind of containers. Uh, from different uh, partners or, or, or vendors, which, which makes it really easier to kind of use our product with uh, many different kind of software stacks. 
And yeah, we, we, we currently have it running on three modules. Uh, we will um, release um, a uh, first public beta of that uh, soon. So watch out for that. And then you should be ready to get uh, containers running uh, on our modules really quickly. Nice. So, so this is this is a uh, pretty cool, cool stuff. And is, is it like uh, ha has something similar happened before, or is it like revolutionary? Well, I guess um, so. Containers in embedded started to be maybe a thing since a year or so, but we're really early here. Uh, so, so there are uh, very few kind of similar projects yet on the market, and there's still a lot of um, details which which we need to resolve. Uh, so, so this is still work in progress in general, but um, it's it's definitely something rather new and yeah, exciting. Uh, are you expecting potentially you have something going on right here where you could be in the middle of all IoT in the future or what? I mean that's what we'd like because I mean look at let's look at the the current state of IoT uh, security is kind of like non-existent or there's really bad practices so by by inserting the micro platform into this IoT market we're hoping that it a gives a lot of flexibility to customers and b improves the overall security of the market um, and allows companies to ship updates and consumers get used to receiving updates and, and it's a normal thing because um, I, I, I've said this before but uh, you know there's two things we know about software um, there is always going to be bugs in the code and that security is hard and it's never going to be easy so what we can do is just get into this cadence of, of taking updates using the latest software because that's where all these things are being fixed so um, I think the days of LTS kernels uh, you know at least I'm hoping that those are going to kind of go by the wayside and, and, and everybody in the industry adopts this I realize that you know that's not an easy thing to do but we're trying to make it easier with the Linux micro platform and, and you know that's that's the goal is to, to make it easy to adopt the latest software a customer is going to brand products by saying, hey, there's unlimited, um, there's going to be future support because it uh, has this? Uh, you know, it's, it's hard to say. Um, we, you know, the micro platform is obviously a trademark and, and we'd like people to use that brand um, as much as they want and they can attach their own to it if they'd like as well, as long as they, they use the micro platform brand. So, so what do you think so far about the Linear Connect and how's it been? Uh, yeah, very good. So we learned a lot about uh, machine learning, which is other uh, big focus uh, of Toradex. We have already a lot of customers from the N NVIDIA uh, part, and it was it's great here uh, to make more connection. And uh, I'm sure you also see a lot uh, there from Toradex uh, coming to make uh, machine learning, deep learning easier uh, on embedded devices. So this is an exciting time and an exciting industry, and you are you both you're all leaders uh, kind of right you this is the this is what we're looking at right here is maybe the platform of the future i mean you are uh, delivering like you 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 the industry takes you as what's called a a leader already right uh, in a way. yeah I, I i hope so especially in, uh, in embedded uh, computer modules i i, I think so uh, sure yeah we are one of the uh, leading company this is really bleeding edge uh, technology which we make ready for industrial uh, deployments uh, so yeah very, very exciting yeah. For the long tail of uh, sm many customized projects, uh, that that's what it is. Also, right? Exactly. So we are really we are really good in uh, in small to medium volume. So if you have five hundred pieces, thousands, ten thousand, then it's great. I mean, there is other companies. If you want to deploy two hundred thousand uh, pieces a year, that's not really our focus. Uh, but if you're in thousand, ten thousands, then uh, then Toradex is really your partner, uh, and uh, we're really uh, really really the leader. Yeah.